Hello, I'm back in the electorate today after another parliamentary sitting fortnight and a few things are very clear. We have a Prime Minister in hiding, a Labor MP in protection and a government in paralysis. Ms Gillard is out of touch. She just doesn't get it that families are under pressure and she doesn't get the growing concern about the rising cost of living. But Labor and Bob Brown's Greens are still headstrong on hitting Australian families and their household budgets with a carbon tax. One that will destroy jobs, shatter confidence and frankly hurt ordinary people who are just going about their daily lives. There should be no new tax collection without an election. And if Julia Gillard can't bring herself to face the people at the polls, then her absolute minimum should be to face the people on her carbon tax by plebiscite. As you know, the future of our manufacturing industries is in the firing line, and the Gillard-Brown Labor-Greens Alliance must take responsibility and act. With 105,000 manufacturing jobs gone in this country in just three years, now is the worst possible time for Julia Gillard to insist on her economy-wide tax, a tax which is based on her pre-election lie. This week we also pause to remember the tragic death of yet another brave Australian soldier in Afghanistan, Private Matthew Lambert. His death is a tragic reminder of the dangers faced by our servicemen and women who are fighting for freedom and fighting to protect our way of life. My thoughts and prayers are with his family, his colleagues and friends. On a positive note, Parliament this week acknowledged the great achievement of Cadell Evans in winning the Tour de France. You can watch my speech on this motion and a number of bills on my website or on my Facebook page. And out here in Menzies, People just expect government to get on with the job. They don't expect government to be making their life tougher. But that's exactly what Julia Gillard, Bob Brown and their Labor Greens Alliance are doing. I'm fighting hard to do my bit to hold this government accountable. Labor and the Greens are doing everything that they can simply to hang on to power. As always, you can keep up to date via my website, Facebook and Twitter. And if I can be of any assistance to you in dealings with the federal government, please get in touch. Until next time, thanks for watching.